All right, I'm gonna take you back in time. I'm gonna take you way back. It was about 25 years ago. The job location was Hakoni Gardens in Saratoga. Let me back up a little bit here and give you a little bit of uh, understanding of this Japanese gardens. The Hakoni Gardens was developed in 1918 and it's the pride of Saratoga in terms of estate properties. It's a parkland, but it has some of the finest uh, Japanese bonsai styled plants and rare plants that were imported from Japan in 1918 they were brought over and, and planted here. And a lot of these trees were also planted. Well, they've got a, a problem. A lot of the big Monterey pines that were planted in here were dying or completely dead and riddled with beetles. So I had already taken out a few big dead pines, including one huge one over the pond. And um, this one was full of beetles at the base. They wanted to get it out of there before it completely died. So it was too far for a crane and I decided I needed help. So I put together a team of some of the top people I could find on the West Coast. Ken here is an amazing rigger. He's got some of the, the best rigging tools and ropes and lowering devices. And, and Mike Majors here, he's probably the best climber I've ever seen. Um, Mike is just an amazing guy. He worked for me for about a year and he, uh, he, he would sub jobs out. I, I think he was subbing at this time. But uh, we put together a team of guys, including my whole crew, and it was such a complicated job that a lot of other tree companies, owners of tree companies, came in to watch the job. So we had, we had quite an audience throughout the, the process. It took us about three days to get this tree down. And like I said, we couldn't get a crane in there, so we had to do um, a reverse speed line, which was a way of, of getting the, the rope back up to him. And we had a 600 foot rope that extended all the way out into the parking lot. So these branches and pieces of wood had to go a long, long ways. Now because this video is so old, this is, this is very, very early VHS. And the camera that I was using back then was, was pretty primitive by today's standards. So i got to forgive some of the, the blurriness and some of the unprofessional videography by this amateur videographer back then, myself. Well, getting back to Mike Majors, he is not only one of the best tree climbers I've ever met, he was an amazing rock climber and just an incredibly strong guy. He could do one-arm pull-ups. He, he, I've, I've seen him do things that just absolutely blew my mind. And um, you know, putting together the right team for this job was was really important. You know, we uh, we also hired out um, before I owned my Lucas Mill. I hired a guy that um, was demonstrating the Lucas Mills in our area, and I eventually bought one from him. But I hired him to do all the milling because we brought down uh, six and eight foot logs out of this tree straight out to the parking lot that I picked up with the bobcat, ran them over to the mill and we just kept processing lumber. So in a lot of cases, believe it or not, we had logs come out of the air before it even hit the ground. It was in the jaws of the bobcat getting set down on the mill. And as we were going over to pick up the next log, it, that piece of wood hadn't even touched the ground yet and it was being turned into lumber. So these are a couple of the guys that were working on my crew from way, way back. They're no longer with me, but they were really hard workers. It was Lino and, and, and Manuel. Um, Joe Bathurst is on this job. He was doing the, the rope work at the base of the tree. So there was, a, there was an incredible amount of coordination going on. You know, everybody had to talk to each other. Everybody had to know what was going on. And we had to put together a master plan that everybody was on the same page with. Of course, um, Mike being the climber in the tree, he, he led the whole operation and he sort of managed everything, told everybody what to do. But 
Um, you know, there were a few small mistakes made, a few things got hung up, a, a few times the rope got jammed, but for the most part, the, the whole job went pretty Saving smooth. So bear in mind that this is really old footage, and um, it's, a, it's a long video, a very, very long video, but it's worth watching. There you can see what we had to deal with. We had to bring wood down over that. That's That was the area that we had to, you know, transfer logs and, and branches and everything out. And when we got down lower, we had to lower some of the big pieces and muscle them down through the pathway. And there were stairs, stairs all the way up to where the, the tree was. So it was probably 20, 25 different stairs. So everything about this job was a nightmare. It was really hard, it was really demanding. And uh, it was it was a lot of fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this job. It was, it, was, um, it was a learning experience for me. Some of the stuff that we did here, I had never done before. It was the first time I ever did a, a reverse speed line where um, we had to get the, the pulley back up to the climber quickly. So a lot of the rigging that went on here, Ken managed all that. There's uh, Jim McDermott. Um, he, uh, he he owns a tree service in Ohio. He used to be in this area for a long, long time. He's a very, very talented guy. Anyway, I'm just gonna let you watch and, and enjoy this. So sit tight and enjoy the show. Backing out from directly underneath the tree. You might be able to back up another 10 feet even. He's on a tricky hillside there that makes that a little bit difficult in this situation. Uh, the machinery's turned off and everybody's able to hear everybody else communicate. The brush is being staged so that it can be chipped at intervals instead of constantly because communication is the most important thing in this situation. Hung up. It's important that the climber moves fast. Just hold on to it right now, Joe. I'm holding. Okay. Who's got the speed control, Joe? Hey, it'll be my first <laughs> order with you. 
Up high enough, man. Huh? Should be up high enough.
Sometimes. Just cut it. Just cut the branch. Be careful.
Uh, I just about had it. We, we could have did it. That's ideal. That works as a break, just perfect. Yeah. Well, and when he's doing multiple limbs like that, I can't set it all the way to the ground or I yeah. lose my, uh, <laughs> my work height. Yeah. So it's a compromise. That's pretty sweet. That first limb cleared just perfect, but yeah. when the, when I broke that limb and pulled it back, I couldn't quite get it out. I guess I didn't well, it, yeah, it enables it to go beyond the redwood and then pretty sweet.
That's a big one. Got a nice line. line. It's got Mike's line on here. Watch that lantern. Jorge, drop it. He, that's Mike's climbing line. It's not that tight. Go ahead. Go ahead and pull it up if you want. Go ahead. Just let the limb come down. It'll pull it through.
That's nice, Tim. You know something else, Tim? I wanted to tell you something. You're not gonna believe it, but did you know you got your shirt on inside out? I put that inside out for you. Did you really? Yes! Oh, okay. I don't wanna be walking around here in a glow-in-the-dark McDermott's tree expert shirt on oh, Blair's Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, get in there. No, a, uh... no. Little plug. <laughs> going here, Gina, is we've got men up on the base of the tree that are handling the return line, but they have to coordinate the effort so that the things that he's cutting don't swing back into him. They have to let it bail out. They have to get it out of his way. The man over on this side, he's handling the slack on the rope, and this guy over here, he's pulling the rope back and forth one direction or another so that we can uh, keep it out of the trees. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> okay, you can come to the pizza party, too. <laughs> Going nice and smooth? Uh, occasional hitch, but... Mike's climb line has got hooked up in a few of them. They've gone down with it. And That's always fun. <laughs> it's hung, up, it's hung <laughs> up in the redwood tree a couple times, but for the most part, I'd say it's about... 80% real, real smooth. Beats going up and down that hill. Yeah, there goes this climb line again. It's hooked yeah, up in the brush. I never wrap nothing like that around my body. I don't know, Blair. I don't know, Blair. Do you? I'll talk to you about that in a second. Okay.
that that's much longer overall length. Well, we've got enough to go through the brake. We just need to attach it to the tail end of it. Well, okay. Good!
Got a release on the end. Put Four. her down. Yeah, there you go. Four. Grab that end and whip it.
Starting soon. Crap, you know there's a missing whoopee sling out of this deal. Hey, Mike, what happened to the uh, whoopee sling you had yesterday? Did it get thrown down? I left it hanging on my climbing line. Yeah, I think it was over here. This morning. It's down at the base of the tree. Yeah, I see it. I'll send it up on the next side, so in case you need to, you know, we don't have to swing it to you every time. Yeah, okay, you guys want it? Please. standing on the ropes like this. Get up. Big YV at this time. 
Okay, Mike's been great. This is another good big wood job with yeah. you. This is Mike Majors. He's a very reputable big wood climber. He does nothing but real large scale trees. He's one of the best I've ever worked with. And he was the one that was up in the tree helping us with the speed line. And I just wanted to give you an idea because sometimes you don't get an idea of how big the tree is on video, but this is the chips that came off of just part of the tree. The rest of the tree is being taken down conventionally. We tried to get just the bulk of the material out through speed lining. There is a couple of stems in the back that are being taken straight down. There's probably about 40 yards of chips here. So this is going to give you an idea of the overall size of that. Well, always a pleasure working with Ken. Best rover. What do you think of the tree? I mean, was that a pretty tough one for you? Or what, uh, you know? That was a pretty wimpy tree, really. <laughs> wimpy tree. <laughs> what about the, uh, the situation there? Do you think the guys handled everything well? What would you have changed? What would you, what would you have done differently? Oh, no, that was a good way to do it. Call back speed line into uh, the parking lot. Definitely. The location was pretty awkward. Those back limbs there were uh, forced to lower it conventionally. But, uh, no, good job. Thank you.